This is a quick video about our mason bees. Uh, this little spot here has been known as the bee wall. We've had a lot of wooden blocks out here for mason bees to lay their eggs. And the wooden blocks have gotten filled with leaf cutter eggs and uh, kind of stopped the mason bees from coming around. So this year I put out some straws in uh, large mass. And today the bees are out. So hopefully this year we'll get lots of larva. Let's see. They just jump right in those straws and start filling them up. Anyway, your mason bees are for pollinating your fruit trees. Uh, anything that blooms early in the year before the honeybees come out. Honeybees right now are still kind of recovering from the winter. So there's no new babies or anything coming out, uh, regular honeybees. So the mason bees do your, most of your pollination of your fruit trees and stuff. So that's why we do mason bees. And at the end of the year, what I'll do is I'll sell these straws uh, with larvae in it so you can start your own colony. Maybe in a week I'll come back and uh, show you how many of these get filled up, or maybe a couple weeks. So a little more about the mason bees. If you want to start your own colony of mason bees, you may have native bees around, and all you need is a straw or a hole drill that is quarter inch to five sixteenths inch uh, round. And the deeper you go, like these straws here, these straws are six inches deep. The deeper your straw, the more female uh, bees you get out of it. Uh, the first two on the end are usually males in case some predator breaks into the larva. And then the ones behind it are females. And so if you end up with just doing like a three by, or a four by four block, you end up with just as many females as you do males. This, with these long six inch tubes, you end up with three or four more females per straw. So you get, you get a stronger colony with the long straws. Mason bees only live in the till about June and then they die off. And then the larvae develop in these little mud cocoons that these bees make. They develop through the summer and then they go dormant in the winter. And the next spring when it gets to be the right temperature around 60 degrees, they start hatching out and go right to work. close enough to these bees actually don't look like bees they look kind of like flies and they don't sting they can if they have to but they generally don't sting yet. 